What is going on YouTube? Welcome to your fourth Blender tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about animating things and just animation in general so it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, it's it's about 10 o'clock at night and I just woke up, you know, took a shower so I think I'm going to be good to go on this one. It's going to be a pretty good tutorial. And uh, unlike last time where I thought about sushi, I had another realization when I was in the shower. How come when you're taking a shower, doesn't matter where, that there's about one millimeter difference turning the knob from freezing cold to scolding hot. Any shower I ever stepped in, um, if I like turn it a little bit, it'll be freezing cold, like uh, I can't breathe. And then if I turn the knob just like one millimeter more, it's like scolding the skin off of my body. So, you know, there's a fine line between there, and only you. Um, know your own shower. If you go to anyone else's house, then you know it's over. You might as well forget about it. But, anyways, let's get to this tutorial. The first thing I want to remind you guys of is uh, unlike last time with transformations, uh, we're moving it around. You also have these little arrows right here, and you can move um, your trans or your object around using these arrows if uh, you're too lazy to you know, do it the other way. And you can also right click it and when you get it to the place just left click it to set it but for right now with it selected go ahead and press delete because we don't need that dumb old cube in our way anymore what we need is a sphere so go ahead and create spacebar add um, let's go ahead and create mesh icosphere you can create anything you want it doesn't matter for this tutorial it just uh i need to create something now in order to uh animate I want to get two of these items and that brings me to my next point of duplication so go ahead and select this with your right mouse button if it isn't already selected and hold down shift and press D and when you do you get a duplication of this item now go ahead and press left click to select this so again that shift D now since we're animating it's probably going to make sense to switch our animation view so we can either go down here and go to animation or since we're uh, being lazy, what we can do is um, use a shortcut, and that is Control Left. So again, hold down Control and press the left arrow, and that's going to bring you up to your animation um, interface. So now we're in our in uh, uh, now we are in our animation interface. So let's animate something. Well, the first thing we're going to want to notice is this little bugger right here, and this is called the timeline. Right now, it's in seconds in when, by the end of this tutorial, you're going to understand what the timeline means. It's pretty simple, so I'm not going to explain it. But anyways, put your cursor over the timeline, press space, and or excuse me, press T, and make sure you're in frames. And again, that's T. You're in seconds by default. Go to frames. This way, we can see the frames instead of the seconds. Or you can do seconds if you want. You know, I really don't care. just want to tell you guys that it's up there. The next thing we're going to do is create an empty on the screen so deselect everything and go ahead and click somewhere around right there put your crosshairs over it and go ahead and press space add empty now what an empty is is it's pretty much an object that does nothing so why would we want an object that does nothing on our screen well the usefulness of this empty is that we can animate this empty for example we're gonna make it grow and then what it does is we can link these two objects to the empty so for example if we had ten different objects and we all wanted them to grow what we could do is animate them each individually and make them all grow give them all frames or we could animate this empty once and link all these objects to this empty and whatever this empty did these objects would do so we wouldn't have to animate each of these separately we just have to animate something once and then link everything to it which you're gonna see so since I said that it can do that I better prove to you guys that it can do that so we got our empty selected what we need to do is scroll down here until we get our little green um, bar right here and this is the time where we're at and go ahead and move it to frame one or to the left as far as you can go and what you can see right here is frame one empty and it also says it down here so go ahead and slide that way to the left here at frame one and what we're going to want to do is insert a scale key 
So go ahead and with this selected, the empty, press I scale. I scale. Get it? That isn't even a joke. I just made that up. Uh, please don't repeat it. So now what we want to do is move this little time to frame, you know, 100 or something. Or 99 just because I couldn't. There we go, 100. Now what we want to do is actually change the scale of this empty. So go ahead and um, I guess, you know, just change the scale. Press S on your keyboard and go ahead and change that a little bit and go ahead and hit it just like that. And now what we want to do once we change the scale at frame 100, we want to set another scale key. So go ahead and press I with it still selected and press scale. And now you can see to our little graph on the right hand side, this is the scale of our object over time. It goes from 1 to four in a hundred frames. So what this means is it starts out at size one, whatever that means, and it goes to four times its original size in a hundred frames. So how can we see this um, visually? If we put our left mouse button over here and scrub back and forth, we can see that our empty is now changing as it goes from zero, size one, to frame a hundred, size four. So now we have an empty that is animated in scale. So now how can we get these objects to do the same? Well, I'll tell you. The first thing you're going to want to do is deselect everything in your main animation window. So go ahead and press A until you get everything deselected. So again, A means all in Blender. So hit it twice to get everything deselected. Now what we're going to want to do is something called parenting. So go ahead and hold down shift on your keyboard and select this one, this one, and select this empty last to make it active. And now uh, what you need to do is parent these to this. So how do you do that? Well, once your empty is um, oh, what's called the active one, and you can tell what one is active by this objects and links right here. What you're going to want to do is hit control, hold down control, and press P. And this means make parent. And once you make that parent, again, that's control and P, you're going to have two little lines to your objects right here. Now, what a parent is, it pretty much um, allows these objects to take the properties of its parent. So, again, the children that these two objects are called do whatever the parent does. So, now if you scroll back and forth, you see that as the parent grows, the children grow with it. So this is a pretty good parent uh, right here, unlike my parents who made me wear a skirt and sit on my uncle's lap when I was seven years old. But uh, I don't want to talk about that. It brings back some bad memories. But anyways, this is a pretty good parent, unlike mine. So um, again, as you can see, scrubbing back and forth. Another thing that you can do is if you... um hit alt a you can uh, see this animation play oh yeah just like that or if you're too uh, lazy to hit it you can just um, scroll all the way back and hit this play button right here and watch it play like that either way you got many different options of watching it play and another cool thing uh, that you can see anytime you move this parent around the children move with it you know, makes sense if the parent moves, the child gun move too. So, you know, just like in real life. But uh that's that for this tutorial. I actually accidentally got rid of my time on my screen recorder, so I don't know how long we are, but thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I will see you next time. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe.